Hello and welcome! I'm Norvigikus and this is my let's play of Pokemon Stadium. We are going to go to the stadium today and do the Great Bowl tier of the Poke Cup. So let's get right down into it. Last time we beat the Poke Ball tier easily. And although the Great Ball tier is a little bit harder, I don't think we'll have much trouble with it. We might lose one battle, um, or at least lose a few Pokemon in battles. We don't. I don't think we'll get perfects on all battles like we did last time. But it's still gonna be fairly easy still. Ultra Ball is where it starts to get a little harder. So let's go into battle. And this time we don't have to register our team again because we already did. So the registered team we had from the Pokeball tier is still here, the exact same team. Let's pick that and get right into the first battle. So eight more battles as usual, starting off with a biker again. I think we started off with a biker last time too, didn't we? And is this the biker who always goes for focus energy on the first turn? I think he is. Uh, I faint, like I very vividly remember some kind of uh, NPC in Stadium who always goes for focus energy the first turn, no matter what. And I think this is the guy. Uh, I think all of these Pokemon can learn focus energy at least. And in Stadium they fixed the glitch so that focus energy works as intended in this game, as opposed to in the Game Boy games where it actually works the opposite way. Instead of increasing your critical hit radio, it will actually uh, decrease it. Um, so you're, f I think it's four times, you're, so you're four times less likely to do critical hits if you do it in the Game of Games for some weird reason. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's uh, start with Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia can take down all of these Pokemon with Psychic, obviously. Let's also bring, I guess, half of these Pokemon are poison types, so let's bring Atlas for his Earthquake. And then also, since the other half are all fighting types, no, wait, other half, wait, coughing isn't the fighting type, what am I saying? Four of them are poison types, and two of them are fighting types, but doesn't really change much. Let's bring uh, Zephyrus as the last Pokemon anyway. I mean, Cassiopeia is gonna sweep all of these Pokemon with Psychic, doesn't matter. Finally on, Pokemon Tournament Poke Cup Great Ball. Yep. The battles get underway to the cheers of an enthusiastic crowd. Rina Nido shaking her ass at us, or at least not to us, but to the audience, I guess. Um, that's very inappropriate, and I'm going to use Psychic on you for that, as your punishment. Don't think he should survive that. Nope. That's a very weird colored uh, Nidorina, too. That's, that's an ugly color for her mouth being yellow. Looks like he was, she was sick. Let's hit me, Chan. Hitmonchan could have Thunder Punch, but who cares? He's gonna go down from one Psychic anyway. Hitmonchan doesn't have the best special. Which is the problem in the first place with Hitmonchan. If only he had better specials, he could actually utilize those punching moves. Yeah. Monchan High. Some of these weird nicknames again. Inkoff. What are you trying to do? The remaining Pokemon are you trying to be intimidating by doing that? Because it's not, it's, it just looks weird. That's also an ugly colored uh, coughing too. That's like a, not the best shade of purple. And his mouth is yellow as well, just like Nidorina. There we go. Easy first battle. The first battle is usually easy for you to get a uh, continue right off the bat. That's usually true for most of the cups and all the tiers. So I'm not surprised by that. I don't think it'll get much harder though, because it's still the Great Ball. Next up is a Rocker again. Alright. So this guy, just like the other Rocker, has three Electric types and three Grass types, only he has evolved them a little bit. Although the uh, Voltorb is still a Voltorb. So I'm going to do the exact same thing as I did last time, start off with Etna for the fire coverage, uh, have uh, Atlas in there so I can switch into him if he decides to go for electric types. The previous rocker in, Poke in the Pokeball tier 
He had only three electric types. He didn't choose a single grass type for some reason. And uh, the last Pokemon, hmm, let's just go with Zephyrus, because if I need something, I probably need it for the grass types. I'm pretty sure Atlas can handle the electric types pretty easily. What kind of battle can we expect to see? Begin round two. Okay, Ivysaur, or Ivysauce. Ivys Ace. <laughs> Ivysauce is a funnier name though. Uh, let's go Flamethrower. Etna hasn't been able to use that a lot yet, so let's use her. Critical hit, you are for sure dead. I don't know if I needed that crit. Ivysaur has decent special, I think. Venusaur would have survived, but I'm not sure about Ivysaur. Bulbasaur wouldn't have survived, so he's kind of in the middle. Buzz Ace, that's Electabuzz. Very ugly colored one with that. Ooh, that's a this very a ugly shade of yellow. Of okay, that's the wrong button. I meant to uh, switch into Atlas. He's probably going to go for Thunder Wave. Might go for Thunder. Even Thunder Punch. But I'm pretty sure he's going to use Thunder Wave. They usually do that. Oh, yep, Thunder Wave. It's not going to do much. Yeah, you can't Thunder Wave me, friend. And then we have Earthquake, he might switch, but... Nope, he's gonna use Flash, okay, that might be annoying. Brilliant Flash. I don't know if that'll make much of a difference though. I might uh, miss you a few times, but I will hit you eventually. And I hit him the first turn, so... Buzz Ace goes down. Hopefully he has a, uh, another Electric type in the back. But even if he doesn't, it's not a problem. Voltaze, I guess, is Voltorb. So, according to the rules here, he cannot use any self-destruct or explosion and take himself out. That is not allowed in the rules of Pokemon Stadium. So he can't do that. He will use Reflect, though, and it might survive Earthquake, actually, now that he has Reflect up, but that's fine. He can't do much to me anyway. I did hit, even with the Flash up. Alright, he didn't survive. I was too strong for him, even with Reflect. Yeah, Rhydon is an amazing Pokemon to have as a physical attacker. As long as the enemy doesn't have any wood type moves. Rhydon is also the best counter for... Rhydon, I mean Rhydon or Golem, I guess, are the best counters for Zapdos as well. And then we have the Juggler. Okay, that's an interesting team. So, looking at this team, uh, four of these Pokemon are weak to Cassiopeia in one way or another. And then we have the Clefable and the Drowsy. Uh, let's go Zephyrus for his physical attacking prowess. And I should probably not bring Atlas because Clefable can use a very variety or different variety of moves, being TMs, uh, like ice moves and water moves. I think Clefable can use Bubble Beam. I'm pretty sure she can, she can learn that TM, so that wouldn't be good for Atlas. The last Pokemon could be Charon, I guess, in case I need something. Last resort at the end. Upcoming battles look promising. We're into round three. Okay, goes for Hitmonlee first. That's good. Good for me. Bad for you. Hitmonlee is a cool Pokemon. I do prefer Hitmonlee over Hitmonchan actually, when it comes to design. And in Gen 1, he is a better Pokemon objectively, too. He can learn some pretty nice uh, fighting type moves. Sound is funny, though. We might. Who's next? Haunter, okay. Or Haunter. Haunter. Are you gonna haunt me? I'm pretty sure I'm faster than Haunter as well. I think, actually, uh, Starmie is faster... Is Starmie faster than Gengar? I'm not sure, actually. Oh, he survived. Wow, I didn't think he would. S please miss. Don't hit me. Yes, thank you. Roses shouldn't actually hit all that often. I've just been uh, unlucky. I didn't think he would survive a Psychic, huh? But there he goes. At least he couldn't hit me with any uh, ghost type moves, that would be a problem. 
Poliwhirl, okay. Poliwhirl. Poliwhirl. Yeah, Poliwhirl's gonna survive one Thunderbolt, but that's fine. I mean, what can, what can Poliwhirl do to me anyway? The battle has become one -sided. You could use some kind of physical move, I guess, but, um... Okay, 13 health. Metro, okay, he goes for rest. Okay, I guess I have to use one extra Thunderbolt then to take him down because of the rest, but now he, he literally can't do anything. There isn't any sleep talk or snore or anything like that in this generation, so... Oh, I got a high roll this time and got him in the first first Thunderbolt. Nice. Perfect, again. Cassiopeia is the MVP of the team. The jack of all trades, master of all. There we go. Almost halfway through, and I'm only 10 minutes in, or 11 minutes in. It's a beauty! Oh, it's a lot of rock types. And water types. Hmm. Alright, so I think Cassiopeia is the obvious choice here. She can deal with all of these Pokemon. And also bring Zeus for the water types. And I think I'll bring Charon, because he is kind of the uh, neutral. He is not weak against any of these Pokemon. I guess he could be weak against the ground types if they use ground type moves, but um You can just mega drain them. Krabby, oh. Krabby's gonna go down from Thunderbolt. His uh, special is very bad. Let's go. Thunderbolt! I do like the Krabby line, it's just sad that they aren't very good in Gen 1 because of their very bad special. And a uh, water type with low special in Gen 1 is not a good thing. Omadi! Omadi! It sounds like it could be a name, like a first name. Omadi. Omadi. It's gonna survive one Thunderbolt, I think. Yeah. Wow, what an asshole. Evasion, huh? I might miss then. I'm usually not very lucky with evasion. Or accuracy drops. Okay, I got him. Good. Maybe Cassiopeia can be the king of accuracy? <laughs> I don't know. Only one Pokemon left, which is... Onyx. Yeah, Onyx is not gonna survive. Look at the eyes. He looks crazy with those eyes. Beautiful green, though. Surf him down. Onidi. Onidi. Critical hit. That was not needed at all. Definitely overkill. There we go. Another easy win for our team. Halfway through the cup already. Wow. Yeah, as I said, the Grateful Cup isn't much harder than the, or the Grateful Tier, rather, isn't much harder than the Pokeball Tier. But it could be a little harder on the, uh, during the second half here, so we shouldn't be celebrating just yet. Here we have the Medium again. Okay, looks like three Poison types, a Water type, an Electric type, and a Normal type this time. Both Ghastly and Haunter, that's uh, interesting. Let's go uh, Cassiopeia, she can deal with four of these Pokémon. Let's also bring Atlas for his Magnemite, in, in case he goes for that. The Licking Tongue, though, is harder. Um, I could bring Zeus, because Zeus can also be useful against the Seeking and the Golbat, and he has very high special, while Licking Tongue has not, not very high special. So let's bring Zeus for the... For the back here. Haunter again, okay. Different colored one this time. Slightly more purple-ish, I guess. Blue-ish actually more. Okay, so let's go for Psychic. We think, uh, we saw that he survived the Psychic earlier, so he might survive the Psychic again. I don't know what it'll do to me though. Oh, okay, critical hit. Never mind. I think that critical hit was needed, and unless I got a high roll, I, I could have gotten a high roll and taken taken out, maybe. 
Maybe maybe it was Oh seeking Seeking the though. Count is three to two. Yeah, so he can't do much to me, so even if he does survive a thunderbolt doesn't really matter. What can he do? Supersonic? Waterfall? Okay, supersonic. Please miss. God damn it. Come on. Yeah. You all know how I hate supersonic or confusion rather. Come on. No. Okay. What did he do to me? Tail whip. Oh, that's interesting. Is he gonna uh, lower my defense so that I hit myself harder with confusion every turn? Probably. I could switch out though. Let's do that actually. Let's switch over to Zeus. Fuck you or confusion. I'm not gonna play that game. Tail whip again. That's what I predicted. It doesn't really matter all that much because uh, Jolton already has very bad defense. Let's Thunderbolt this asshole. Hopefully he has Magnemite in the back so I can just easily switch into um, into Atlas. But I don't think he, he does because then he would have switched it out against um, Cassiopeia probably. Maybe he has Lickitung in the back. Golbat! Okay, that's fine too. Because I can just Pokemon deal with him using Zeus. Easy peasy. Yeah, he's not going to survive a Thunderbolt. Not from a Jolteon. There you go. Golbat is also very big in this game. Much bigger than you would think. You don't, you don't like, um, imagine Golbat being that big, but he, uh, he is according to Pokemon Stadium. I don't know if sizes are canon in this game, though. Or if it's just the developer's own interpretations. Could be either way, really. There's a Tamer again. Okay. Three Pokemon weak against water, and then three uh, three normal types. So let's go Cassiopeia. Pretty sure Cassiopeia can take, the, uh, take down the um, I mean normal types as well, but let's also bring... Let's bring Charon. And let's not bring Atlas, because some of these can use water moves and ice moves as well. Let's bring... Uh, you know what? Let's bring Zephyrus, because I haven't used him in a while. And he could be useful using physical moves. Field is thinning out. We're into round six. Okay, starts so with Eevee, or V. Let's go for Surf. Now. My strongest move. I think. I think it has to have high space power. No secondary effect though. Are you gonna use... Okay, Toxic. Huh. Alright, that's not too bad. I won't take damage when I... Um, when I defeat Pokemon though. So I won't take any damage from Poison this turn. Because I'm defeating this Eevee. V. It is down and out. Who's next? What will the next Pokemon be? Hopefully something that's weak against water. Is that Marowak? My dreams this came true. Two different types of Pokemon. There it whack goes. Marrow. Are you completely whack? Looks like a bad Pokemon yeah, no way he'll survive that. Marowak doesn't have the best special either. They usually don't when they are physical attackers. I do like Marowak as a Pokemon though. I think it's cool. And Diglett, okay. Yeah, Diglett doesn't have anything to show for his uh, HP stat, so... And I'm faster as well. Look at that, 85 HP. That's so bad. I've done uh, ch challenge runs with, with uh, Diglett and I know how bad it is. <laughs> It's not a very strong Pokemon. It's the definition of a very weak... It's not even a glass cannon, it's more like a glass slingshot. <laughs> it's, it's so weak. At least you can learn a decent amount of moves, though. Earthquake is his best move by far, of course, but uh, it's not very good when you have Pokemon immune to that. And then we have the Psychic again. 
Oh, this this team is a little more scary, actually. Two flying types, though. Um, what should I bring for that? Hmm, I could... I should definitely bring Zephyrus as the physical attacker against the... Um, against the psychic types. The flying types, though... I could either bring Zeus or Atlas, doesn't really matter which one I choose out of those two. So I'm going to go for Zeus, because Zeus can also use Thunder Wave to cripple the poison, I mean the uh, fi fighting psychic types. I'm sorry, I can't talk today. So I'm going to bring Zeus as my first Pokemon. I'm also going to bring um, Etna for the Jinx. Etna can also dish out some, uh, or take some f special moves as well. And also Zephyrus as my last Pokemon. I don't want to bring Cassiopeia for this fight, actually, for once. For once, I'm not bringing Cassiopeia. I know I bring her a lot. <laughs> okay, starts off with Kadabra. That's his most scary, or that's the scariest Pokemon, I think. In my opinion. Let's go Thunder Wave then. Cripple is Kadabra. Because speed is his is his second best stat, so crippling his speed is a very good thing to do. He could do the same th thing to me though. Okay, he's paralyzed. Good. Can I get a free switch though? Because Zephyrus can't really take much damage in return, because one, uh, two psychics are probably gonna take him take him out. So... It's Dodrio for sure. Okay, side beam. I don't know how much that will do. What now? Okay, that was not too bad, actually. Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? I'm pretty sure it will. Uh, I'm going to go for Body Slam. That's my strongest move, at least in terms of power, base power. Body Boom! It's gonna go Make down. Kidapper is one of those Pokemon that I looks bulky, because it looks kind of big, like in, in muscle mass. But then he isn't. The I think, like, in body shape, Kadabra looks more bulky than Algazam. Oh, and maybe he is too, I don't know. The I know they're both Pokemon pretty bad when it comes to that. To okay, looks like Pidgeot, uh, oh not Pidgeot, Pidgeot, let's switch into Zeus again. Now. At least we're uh, rid of that Kadabra. I wonder what he has in the back though. Fly, okay. Wait, can I hit with thunder when you're flying in this gen? I don't think I can, right? I'm gonna, st I'm gonna try anyway, cause I'm, I'm faster. I'm gonna, s I'm gonna miss anyway, f whatever move I use. I don't think it, it'll hit. No, that, that's gen two, I think. In stadium two, that would, that could have worked. Got a critical hit. That doesn't matter. Let's Thunderbolt it and get rid of it. I'm gonna go, go for a quick attack first, though. Just to be annoying. There it is. Not gonna survive that, I think. Nope. Get out of here, you burb. Burbo. Pigenza. Pigenza could have been Pidgey and Pidgeotto, too, actually. Abra. Okay. Less scary than uh, Kadabra. Let's uh, do the same thing to him. Thunder wave him first. I might lose Zeus from from that. But that's fine. He has service purpose anyway. Substitute. Okay. He's dumb. Let's go back to uh, Zephyrus. Abra is weaker than Kadabra, obviously, so... I don't think Sephiroth is going to suffer much from, from switching here. What will he do, though? He's going to be paralyzed. Okay. Good. Wait, did he lose? No, I didn't. It looks like he lost his substitute. That would have, that would have been weird, because I didn't attack him. Body slam that Abra! It's a bra! Oh, another fully paralyzed turn. Good. What a furious battle! What a furious battle! Yeah, this battle was actually a little more exciting than the other battles have been. The stakes were higher, but I didn't lose a single Pokemon this time either. Actually, 
My Pokemon Yellow team is just too OP. I've done a great job raising these Pokemon, I guess. Go me! Go, another perfect. So we've got actually every perfect uh, or every battle perfect up in this this uh, to this point. So um, we couldn't be in a better position for the last battle. So let's battle the old man. Oh, look at that! He evolved his uh, Dratini this time. Okay. So I'm going to have a shocking announcement. I'm going to start off with Cassiopeia because <laughs> Cassiopeia can take care of four of these Pokemon. Actually, five of these Pokemon. Um, I can Ice Beam Dragonair, I can uh, Psychic the Venomoth, I can Thunderbolt the Apollo-Whirl, I can Surf the Charmeleon, and I can Ice Beam the Parasect. So, she is the obvious choice. The Wigglytuff, though, is the only problem that I have. Um, I'm, I think I'm gonna bring Zephyrus. Uh, he can also deal with the Parasect and the Venomoth easily, and I think his physical attacks are gonna be good for Wigglytuff. Um, let's also bring Charon, because why not, I guess. Why the fuck not? This is it, the final battle! You will bask in the glory of the championship! I will. Charleon is surely not gonna be. Charleon the Charmeleon? He's gonna go down from Surf if he doesn't switch. If he doesn't switch. Wow, we haven't seen a single switch from the NPCs yet. They usually switch like crazy. What is this? Maybe they uh, they throw the battle as soon as they see my team. They know that it's futile to resist. My team is too good. Dragonair. Good, because I want to get rid of that. So Dragonair might survive an Ice Beam and use Thunder Wave on me, which would be annoying, but that's fine. Yeah, I don't think I'll kill him. Nope. Yeah, that's what I thought. Thunder Wave. Could miss, though. No. I think it has a chance to miss. Not sure. Yeah, I don't know what he can do to me, though. Does he have electric type moves? Yeah, it's Thunder. Okay. I can survive one Thunder, at least. Oh, critical hit. Please don't do this to me. Okay, Ice Beam. Go. Go, Ice Beam. Now I got a critical hit. Wow, I should have had that the uh, previous turn, but okay. I still got him. Drag ear. There's a difference in the number Drag of ear. It's a weird name. Wigtuff. Oh, it's Wigglytuff. It is Wigglytuff. Okay, so I'm gonna switch out. Um, or should I should I let should I let Cassiopeia go? Hmm. What'll he do to me though? You know what? I I'm I'm going to go for Charon, because I wanna win this entire tier with no Pokemon lost, with only perfects. That would have been fun. Let's go Charon. Oh, this is the first time I use Gengar actually, or Charon. What now? Yep. That was a good switch. Okay, so now the question is, should I go for hypnosis? And the answer is yes, I should. To uh, put him to sleep. Please hit. Please. Yes. Don't wake up in the first turn. Yes, thank you. It's fast asleep for sure. You think? Now we can Dream Eater, and since we're faster, we can always be sure that Dream Eater will hit as long as he's asleep. Okay, so go. it's gonna take three of those, and he wakes up, of course. Neither one is conceding an inch. Okay, so if I use Dream, I mean the Nightshade, that's gonna do 52 damage. So it'll take three of those to take him down from here. So I'm going to go for another hypnosis. Just cross my fingers, it'll hit again. Come on. Yes, perfect. Wow. Is he gonna survive? Oh yeah, wake up. He's not gonna wake up. Good. And let's eat his dreams. I wonder what Pokemon are dreaming about. Probably winning battles. Is a wet Pokemon dream them dreaming about, like, um, breeding? <laughs> I mean, not in, not in Gen 1, maybe, because uh, breeding wasn't a thing in Gen 1, but in later Gens. Go. A Nightmare Dream Eater, is that what he said? Here we go, we win. Good job, Charon. 
Gengar is a, my favorite Pokemon for a reason. It's just a good Pokemon. Gengar is also one of those Pokemon that's uh, considered o, um, OU in most of the generations, I think. Not much of a competitive Pokemon uh, player, but uh, I think Gengar is considered very good in every gen. There we go. I, I like the um, I like the detail of the trophy having the Pokeball on it, or the Great Ball, or whatever Pokeball type we have done. So there we go, we have cleared the uh, Great Ball Cup, or Pokeball... Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Poke Cup Great Ball Tier is the correct term to use. Yeah. So I'm going to end the episode right here with this music playing, because I think it's a cool music and we don't get to hear it very often. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Stadium, and you know, if you did, then I would appreciate you leaving a like on this video, and maybe even consider subscribing if you enjoy my content. More Pokemon Stadium and Pokemon Yellow content are coming your way in the very near future. I think I'm going to do a few more episodes in Pokemon Stadium before going back to Pokemon Yellow. I have to grind my team up for the Elite Four as well in that game, I haven't done that yet. So stay tuned for that. Maybe in the next episode I'll go and do some of the Gym Leader Castle stuff, beating Brock and Misty at least with my Pokemon Yellow team, that will be fun. But thank you so much for watching this episode, have a great day, and bye bye for now. Goes on. Bruh. La la, how their life goes on.